back to another vlog. This one's really exciting because it is all about my first pop-up. And today is Saturday, July 22nd. I am hosting my first small business pop-up. I'm so excited. If you watched the last vlog, it's all about the prep. It's a little chaotic, it's a little hectic, but it all came together. So if you didn't watch that, I'll link it down below so you can check that out. But today is just the event itself. It's 8.20. Kylie and Charlie are going to come over to help me bring stuff down. Let me show you the little rundown of what's going on. We have a lot of cases of water here. We have all of these shopping bags and these shopping bags, I stamped them myself. Again, like you'll see all of this in the prep vlog. I'm trying to find an example. Oh, there you go. I stamped all of these and then inside there's a card that has the QR code for socials and the raffle. Then I have extra non-carded uh, bags here. Here I just have some necessities that I'm bringing today. We have the board that Kylie helped write because her handwriting is so much better than mine. And this is my dress. It's from Abercrombie. I'm debating if I want to use the new Celine belt that I got because I'm going to wear gold jewelry. But I need to figure that out first. I need to finish getting ready and then I'll show you like the full outfit. And I also just did my hair differently. I used the Dyson but I used the like the round brush and I just did a little blowout look. But yeah, I've never done my hair like that, so I think it turned out pretty good. It's not, you know, curly, but it still has some volume to it. So, I'm going to open up the belt. I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm just going to do that now. This is like my little gift to myself for my birthday when I went to Paris last month, which is also another vlog, so if you're interested, go ahead and watch that. This is the Celine Tramp belt. Belt? The Celine Triumph belt in the size small. I was thinking I could just use this to belt it because like that would look pretty cute. Wear either one of these two. I'm leaning more towards the pointed because it's a little easier, but the platforms are very comfortable. Here's my little jewelry case. My sister got this for me for Christmas a couple years ago, so I just keep my jewelry in here. I've been obsessed with these little Bottega dupes. I got them from Amazon and they just look so classy. Makes any outfit look really good. I could be wearing like a t-shirt and jeans. But once I throw these on, it instantly looks so chic. See? So cute. I'm gonna put on a bunch of little Random rings. This one's from Adina Eden from the brand Modern Gents. And then I'll put this one. This one's also from Modern Gents. I did a collaboration with them a very long time ago. So, look, one of the jewels came out of this one. All right, this is the outfit. I literally almost fell. It's really cute. I love it. And I ended up putting on a bracelet because I feel like it tied into everything. But I don't know what shoes to wear. I still am trying to figure this out if I want a little pointed or platform. I think I'll just wait for Kylie to come and then we'll ask her. We're in the Uber with Kylie with and leg. everything is in the back. It went way smoother than yesterday. And I told him about it. <laughs> it's embarrassing, honestly. We basically like we did not get any help from putting in like the big shelves and it was really embarrassing and everyone was honking at us and yeah. we heard sirens and then we heard police sirens. And I swear they turn them on just to... No, I think they do that. They yeah, just turn just it on to just to get people get to people out move. Uh, <sighs> Stress me out. It's fine. It is 8.50 and it's going to be a great day. Beautiful. And I'm so glad Kylie was here to help me because she's the best. <laughs> and we're just going to have a good time. Alright, here's the menu. So cute. Okay. Okay, so this is the entire venue. And then in here, there's like a little closet room. And then there's a bathroom in here. Which is also... Oops, which also has like a little shower, which is interesting. But yeah, this is the space. Now we can set up everything. Okay, so I think 
Update. We have defenders being set up. Kylie's been such a big help. It's <laughs> very proud. Very proud of this. We have Alex here. Hi, how are you? And Sam. <laughs> I know. We have Carla. Hi. It's cute. Then we have Alex. Hi. <laughs> The setup is so cute, and then we have Dose that just came in. The boys go, they set up their area, which they're very, very fancy. I love this. Bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. I've never had an everything bagel. I've really? never even had an everything seasoning. It's a little warm in there because there's a lot of people. Yes, there is, and I'm so excited. And doing a little, doing a little preview here. Joanna's right in the front, so cute. Hey. There's so many people inside, and I'm so happy about it. It's five o'clock. We're still on the clock. Still working. Still working, but people are still coming in. People are still coming in, and it's five o'clock, so very successful. Vendors are starting to pack up because we're here from 12 to five. But other than that, I would say it was a successful, successful day. Yep, and then we're gonna get some celebratory dinner somewhere. But first things first, we need a clean. We need a clean up. We need a clean up. Our drinks. I know. Your mom's gonna come for us. Her mom's gonna come for me. My mom was like, I don't know, what are you gonna do with all the drinks? I'm like, what do you mean? We're not gonna have extra. We have extra. Plus more things. Plus more. My mom was right. All right, it's cleanup time. It was so successful. I'm really happy. This is such, such a success. It's all cleaned out, ready to go. 
everything is back to normal. Hello guys, I am finally feeling recovered from the event. It's Monday, July 24th, I think. And I just got back home from doing some errands and I'm getting ready. I'm gonna get lunch with Kylie. We're gonna get some sushi, which is my favorite. Now that I feel more rejuvenated and energetic to like talk on the camera again because I honestly could not do that in the last couple days. I wanted to show you what I bought at the pop-up and also just like random things. First things first, I wanted to show you. So obviously my friend Kylie was there and she was such an amazing help. I love her. She's such a great friend and I'm so glad that um, we got close in New York. Kylie and I have mutual friends in Hawaii and I only knew of her through my sister because my sister's husband's best friend is Kylie's boyfriend. See how that connects? So that's kind of like how I knew of her and then when I moved to New York she reached out to me and then we started hanging out and ever since then <laughs> we've been friends so anyways she loves summer friday so i wanted to get her a little thank you because i appreciated her so much she stayed the entire time guys from she met with me at 8 30 a.m and stayed with me until we closed at 6 p.m and then we went to get dinner after so 10 out of 10 friend right there so I got her a couple things. I, she loves Summer Fridays. It's her favorite brand. So I got her the Summer Silk Nourishing Body Lotion. And I put it on my hand. And my hand still feels so soft. Just my right hand. Because I didn't put it on my left. But it feels so soft. And I also got her one of the blush sticks. And then I got myself a little something. This is all from Sephora, by the way. Not from Target. <laughs> um, I just put it in that bag because I didn't want to carry it. I've seen a couple people talk about the Merit Lip Oil. And I saw it and needed it immediately. Look at this color. It's beautiful. This is in the shade Maraschino. But look at that. The packaging is so pretty and so luxe. It looks so nice. But it's very, very sheer. So it doesn't actually look like that. So I'm just going to... I don't know if you guys can see it. But I'm going to apply it. No, put it on the back of my hand. It's very subtle. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right here. So now for the exciting bag with the goodies. So first things first, this is Seaside Haven Candle Co. And these were all like vendors at the pop-up, of course. She is so sweet. Her name is Michelle. And her candles are so cute. And the best part about it is that her candles are all wooden wicked candles. And I haven't tried a wooden wick candle since college because I just like haven't found one that I was inclined to use. So now I'm so excited. I got the scent Palo Santo and Patchouli. It has notes of black pepper, cedar wood, and amber. And it smells so good. Next from No Name Naturals. Tiffany is the owner and she makes all natural body care. So I got the coffee shea body scrub and I've been so excited to open this because see I love the scent of coffee but I don't drink it. Ugh, this smells delicious. I am so excited to use this from Dose. I love Dose. I got this I got the cutest tote bag from them. I love it so much. But this is the cutest thing ever. Like you can't tell me this is not the cutest tote bag you've ever seen. And then also inside, there's a little pocket zipper to put like all of your imported belongings, wallet keys, phone, stuff like that. So, so excited about that. I love this so much. And then lastly, it's actually a gift from one of the vendors. I think the way you pronounce it is beton because it's B-E-T-O-N. I don't know if it's beton or beton, but beton creative NYC, home decor. She, her name's Sylvia. Oh, also 
Owners of Dose are Adonla and Sarah. They're so sweet. I love them. All of the vendors were so amazing. Love them all. They're the sweetest group of people ever. Um, this is Sylvia is the owner. And she gave me a little gift on the way out. And she's so sweet. I was not expecting that. So thank you so much to Sylvia. I haven't opened it yet. So this is my first time. Oh my god, no, this is so cute. This is a candle holder. I was looking at this. Maybe that's why. I was eyeing it out because it was so cute. And then you put, you put, um, you just put a very, like, long candle or short candle in here. And it's cute decoration. Let me show you. I took a video of it burning. So I'll show you how cute that is. And the one in, like, the front is the one that I now have. So... I need to message her right now because that is the sweetest thing ever. For a little bit of time, I was honestly considering moving out of New York in the past like couple of months. Like I was thinking that maybe next year I'm just gonna move because for me, what makes me feel like fulfilled with like what I'm doing in life is having like a purpose and fulfilling like a dream or goal of mine. And the past couple of months, even though I was planning this event, you just never know the outcome of things, whether it's gonna be good or bad. And obviously doing something new is a risk. So I just, you know, wanted to find my purpose and I felt like this is it. Just like building a community, hosting events. And I just love doing these things. I love bringing people together and I love just hosting and coordinating things. And it makes me really excited. So thank you so much for supporting me in this journey. If you came to the event, Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciated it. All the vendors and my friends who came and helped and supported me. I just am so grateful that I have people that believe in me to take that step because, you know, it was my first event. I let all the vendors know this is my first event, just letting you know. And some, you know, honestly, it was a bit hard to find these vendors because there's a lot of people in like this type of like industry that don't actually care about small businesses and just are here for like a quick little like cash grab, which by the way, it is not a quick cash grab. Like this is an expensive, expensive hobby for me to have. I'm just saying. But yeah, some people like don't care. And so a lot of people were hesitant to join me in my first event because they just don't know like who I am. They don't know like how I run things. And so I'm just so grateful that these vendors just took a chance with me and participated. And it was just such a fulfilling feeling when they were thanking me and telling me that it was such a great event. Like they can't wait for the next one. It just makes me so happy. And I'm just so proud of myself i feel like a lot of the times i don't really give myself credit for the things that i do when i'm always thinking it's not enough but i feel like for the first time in a long time i'm like genuinely proud of myself and it's such a rare feeling so i'm i'm getting literally emotional i don't want to tear up right now i'm actually crying well wow, okay but i'm just i just feel really happy and i feel really fulfilled <laughs> and i'm just glad that i get to share with everyone on here and I just cannot wait for the next event. I am crying. What the heck? Okay. I need to get myself together. I don't... It takes a lot for me to get emotional. So I'm like surprised myself that I'm crying right now. <sighs> but anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this vlog and be on this journey with me. I really appreciate it. And I cannot wait for the next event, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my other socials. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys.